I just want to, well I'm going to be making a flower or two so I just wanted you to come along and uh, join in. Now I've got some of this trim that I have in the store, the scallop trim in the shabby pink, beautiful trim. Um, and we're going to do say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 scallops. That's how I do it. Sorry, I'm just going to take my large needle. May have enough thread on it. Yes, I do. I use dark thread because it's stronger. I mean, well, not because it's stronger. Um, I do use the stronger dark thread. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly uh, make a couple of tacking stitches just to secure it on. Um, and then we're just going to gather it up. And I'm doing it two stitch. Uh, like a each little scallop is one stitch. That evenly spaces it out. Um, like that. We're just going to, this gives it a really good flounce for that size of this material, this lace. So what we're going to do is just give it a pull. These are the quickest and easiest flowers to make, but some of the prettiest. Turn that back, a little dab of glue down the edge like that and you just space them out they should lay pretty flat like that let's just separate them like that okay really really pretty now i've got some doilies here and um, i am going to sit it on a doily these are just gorgeous. Look at those, very thin crocheted. And it took me a while to find them, but I found them. So I'm just going to pop that on there. Then we pop that on. Making sure that fits. That's it. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is you take the roses. Now I'm just going to get some more glue. But oh, obviously mine needs glue. Well, it's... Hmm. Might have to pull this bit out actually. Tweezers, tweezers, where are you? Because it's been on for a while and it's tends to go a bit yucky. The only problem I find with these particular glue guns. Push that out, that's it. Uh, put the new glue stick in and pop the tweezers back. So what we're going to do now is just to glue three roses. I'm just going to make sure that that's glued like so. And you do that, you have to excuse my noggins. <laughs> um, and I've got, which I might put in, it's too big. Let me just see. I need a smaller pearl. Oh, I don't know. Shall I put that in? No, smaller pearl. Sorry, I'll just have to find a smaller one. Um, oh, here's, here's one. Here's one. There we go. I just needed a smaller pearl, that's all. like that pop that in and that goes in the center because you can mix that's it perfect oh struck my bloody thing <laughs> but um yeah what i like about this particular flower is they're quite wedding-y you know so uh, and what we're going to do now before we do the back we're just going to make the leaves now the way to do them i've got this it's wired i've taken one side two tone i've taken the lighter side out 
um, and all I'm going to do is turn that down like that okay where's my needle gone my big needle I still can't find the other needle I don't know what I've done with it heaven knows uh, these are two and a half inches wide seven centimeters for those that don't know um, you take one end of the wire out and that's the end you're going to stitch you bend them over and you just stitch along the edge I mean obviously you don't need to seal them because they're already sealed with them having an edge on and you just this is silk I'm using silk okay and then you just pull that back through a couple of those like that and then tie that off I'm going to need to redo my thread I think like that and then what you do is you've got three sides and you just simply open that up and glue that in and then because it's wired, still wired, you can just, when I can sort that out, come here. <laughs> oh, all finger and thumbs today. Come here, that's it. So you just set that in there. Again, we'll do that again if my thread will hold out. right we're back now I've just finished those leaves and stuck them in and like I say because this top piece is wired you can open up um, the leaf to look a bit more prettier or however you want to do it and uh, there you go now what I'm going to do with mine is I am going to put a pin on it because it can be worn, used on a, a bag or in fact I'm going to put a base on it first and I've only got the dark brown but you're not going to see it so it doesn't matter you're not really going to see it so we'll just pop that on first like so and then to that I'm going to add the pin and let that dry and there you go aren't they gorgeous they really are so I'm just going to leave that upside down for that pin to dry because uh, I want to make another one I love this one because they're made. It's just made out of a satin ribbon, um, and you make individual petals, and you do a couple of rows, and then you make the um, the folded petal, um, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Really, they look like an exotic flower. Um, so that's not hard to do, and I'll, I'll probably come back and show you how to do that one. Gorgeous. 
I say that, don't I? Absolutely. See, like that. Really pretty. Uh, I'm going to make that into a slide, I think. <laughs> I say that and I don't know what I'm doing, do I? I just think that's a brooch, not a slide. I just think they look really pretty. There you go. Two different kinds. I'm just going to bring that rose out a bit. There we go. I like them both. Easy though, aren't they? So that's just a little hint and tip to help you... Because uh, most people just put one thing in the middle and there's no need. You can actually make them look pretty, pretty. Okay. So there you go. There's a few flowers for you. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.